Okay, this is some of the homework that you'll be doing this week. All right, I'm going to do a couple of examples so that way you could, you could, show, you could see what, it, what you were supposed to do for tonight or for this week. All right. Now, it's look at the top. Okay, we have triangles and an octagon. It says these plane figures and those below are all flat, I meaning they're not 3D. All right, they're all flat. These figures are also called polygons. Polygons are just basically shapes, and depending on, on the number of sides, they have each each polygon has a specific name. Okay, so if it has three sides and three corners, what's it called? Triangle. If it has four sides and four corners, is a square. It could be a, a right a square, a rectangle, or a quadrilateral. If it has five sides, it's a pentagon, six, hexagon, and then eight, octagon. And if it has ten, decagon, and so forth and so on. All right. They can be named by the number of sides and corners they have. All right. A corner is where the two sides meet. Actually, so this is a corner, right? Yeah. So how many corners does the triangle have? Three. So if it has three corners, is it going to have how many sides? Three. Three. So let's look at this shape right here. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides, right? It has six sides. So how many corners does it have? Six. So what's it called? It's right there, hexagon. It's called a hexagon. We're going to go ahead and do number two. Just another example. Okay. If you don't know the name, if you still answer this one and this one, this column and that column, how many sides does that one have? Three. And how many corners does it have? Three. So what's it called? Triangle. And then you'll do the rest for home. If you need help, you use this right here to help you. Look what it says. It says right, right angle, acute angle, or obtuse angle. If you name each angle. By the way, even though this doesn't have a square in the corner, what angle is that? Right angle. A right angle, because it looks like a capital L. A right angle, and obtuse is wide open like that. An acute looks like the letter V. <laughs> All right. Look at five though. It says write a capital M like that. So how many angles do you do you see? How many angles do you see? <laughs> Unless, if, you, if I wrote the capital M, how many angles do I see on that in that letter? How many? Yeah, three. I, don't, I see three. I see one here. I see another one here, and where's the other one at? The third one, yeah. right in the middle, right there. And by the way, they're all acute angles. Three acute angles. And then the do number six, from seven, all right? And I'm gonna show you what to what to do on the other one. So I already gave you number one. I gave you number five already. I'm going to do number one, number one, and seven for you. Okay? I need to use this diagram here. I need to use this. It says, what type of lines do Elm Street and Oak Street form? So here's Oak Street. Here's Oak Street. Okay? Here's Oak Street. And here's Elm Street. So they're kind of side by side, right? What kind of lines are those? When the sides are side by side, those are, what is it? Parallel. 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 So they're parallel. Just, even when I write the word parallel, the two L's are side by side. Parallel. <laughs> Thank you.
give your number eight. This will be then. Give your number eight. Those seven, eight, eight, and nine together. You see uh, Elm Street right here? And you see uh, Maple right here? They make an X, right? Those are intersecting lines. Intersecting. Meaning they cross. See, so when the lines cross, they're called intersecting lines. So, Maple and Elm. So here's Maple and here's Elm. They cross, right? They make an X, so they're intersecting lines. It says write a word, a word to describe Palm Lane. Uh, Palm Lane, that's an interesting one. Palm Lane is right here. They're vertical. Isn't that line vertical? And there you go. And then you can do 10 by yourself.